Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, where this is part two of New York Toy Fair. So we're gonna get the Funkos out the way because Funko didn't really reveal that much. So all the reveals was from yesterday. So if you never checked out that video, go watch that. But for this video, this is part two. And this is mostly just figures. So it's not gonna be all the figures. It's just me talking about it. So if you want to actually watch, see the figures, there's plenty of other channels that, that went to Toy Fair. I could give you some, like, um, there's a channel called Narc. Um, he, uh, the guy went there. He recorded a lot of video uh, footage. Uh, I know Robo's there. So there's a lot of other YouTubers who actually went to the Toy Fair. So if you're looking for that, we're just going to talk about it. But if, if that's okay, if not, then please, uh, this is just me talking about the figure. So with that being said, so with Funko, so like I said, we're going to get Funko out, out the way first. So Funko was started off, uh, I, like I said, it's not going to go down the list. But there was a couple of, of uh, Funko figures I forgot to mention yesterday, which was Will and Grace. So Funko has some Will and Grace uh, Funko Pops, which is okay, but it's not my type of deal and then uh fight club also if one of the fight club characters has a chase so if you like that you definitely want to look for that uh i forgot to mention the back to the future pops that are coming out and there was a lot a lot of them so i know there's like a lot of people who are hyped for it because a lot of back to the future fans so you want to pay attention for those they also announced some candy. So Funko, you know, like the earlier, the earlier in the year, they revealed soda pops, and so now they got candy. Well, they always had candy with the pop pads, but these one are just like they come in the shape of looking of. Uh, so they look like a Funko Pop, but it's candy inside of it. It's a cool design, and it's for Marvel and DC characters. So. It's pretty cool, but not something I'm going to pick up. And then a lot of, like, today was just basically Hello Kitty. So there was all different representations of Hello Kitty. But the big the big one from that whole reveals was probably the My Hero Academia crossover. You know, so a lot of characters from My Hero Academia. And then uh, my favorite ones of the, of the whole day um, was the Funko Zombies. Um, that was pretty cool. So they have a Wolverine, um, Entertainment Earth exclusive that looked absolutely sick. That is up for pre-order if you definitely want to uh, pre-order that. They had the, um, Zombie Mysterio. I believe he's for Walmart. He's also available, available for pre-order. And remember, this is later on in the year. Um, there's a Deadpool, there's a Hawk, there's a She-Hawk. Uh, the She-Hawk is for Hot Topic, um, the Black Panther, and then the Venom uh, Zombie that's actually a GameStop exclusive. So, but all of them, I'm telling you guys, all of, even though they're just, it's just concept art right now, all of them actually looks amazing. So, even though, like I said, it's concept art, trust me, Funko is going gonna, is, is gonna to come out pretty good. So... Definitely want to pay attention to that. And then also, they also revealed uh, a Biggie, because uh, Biggie Smalls had an album called Ready to Die. And, and the album was a, ba a picture of a baby. Um, so they made the album cover. And then the, like how the box looks, it looks like the album cover. So it's actually pretty smart and pretty genius to, <laughs> to make that, to make a pop like that. And I did like that. But uh, and then some other figures that I'm not even gonna cover, but oh oh and we got a closer look at the Funko Pop Man Child, um oh Man Mandalorian Child Man Child Mandalorian Child so we got a closer look at that but that's about it for Funko so uh, I believe right now we got Toy uh, uh Target Con. And I, I said yesterday in that video, we, we haven't seen uh, Target Con. Technically, we have. So I'm just going to post like a glimpse of some pops that are in uh, Target Con. So I apologize for that one. And then I, there was a lot of um, pops that I was mentioning that they were going to certain stores and they actually weren't. But if you just follow the pictures, that's where they're actually going. So you want to pay attention to that and then we got a lot of just a lot a lot so going on so this is the figure part of the, the whole video and just so much so you guys know only cover only cover uh fandoms that i like so it's not going to be every single 
genre uh, or every single uh, series. Uh, so, like, I don't collect Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I know I'm probably the only YouTuber in the world that don't collect all the Ninja Turtles. It's just too much. Uh, I do like Ninja Turtles. I just don't collect all of them. So, I'm only going to talk about a little bit there, but um, Ninja Turtle was a bad example. So, um... I don't know, but there's going to be a lot of, like, with NECA, there's, like, certain franchises I don't collect, so I'm not going to talk about all that, but speaking of NECA, we might as well start with NECA, so there was a cool shot of a ghost face, and this is just me uh, screenshotting some pictures that I took from their Instagram page of them actually recording what's new at Toy Fair, so that one of them was Toy Face, we got a closer look at Toka and Razor from... Uh, Ninja Turtles, so and then there's seven scale inches, so they're actually pretty, pretty cool. If you ask me, they're gonna be massive, and it's gonna be one that's probably gonna be hard to get because Ninja Turtles do sell a lot. Um, we got a closer look at the shredder now. The shredder looks amazing. I was like, holy crap! And then, uh, Victor Crowley, he actually looks sick, he looks uh, reminiscing like, uh, like this guy he looks crazy. Uh, I do. I did love his design. I'm not a whole huge fan of the character, but man, he actually looks sick. And I love how NECA does the uh, the killers in their in their franchises. Um, we got a closer look at a predator that actually looks pretty sick. Like I, this predator is one of those lines. I, you guys know I love the movies. Like absolutely love predators and aliens, but I I, I just don't collect them because there's just so much of them. And um, you know, I'm a late collector, so I don't I haven't I wouldn't have the ones from the originals. But man, it was so cool. You know, I had Predator with Sword, he has him with the um with the, the throwing thing. Um he, he looks pretty sick, man. I do love it. He, then he has like a cool mask that has red eyes. I might actually pick that up. Um uh, it's pretty cool. We got a closer look at some Casey Jones and then the Sky's Ralph, so both of them actually looks amazing. I do know Casey Jones. I did love him as well, too. Uh, you know, as a kid, I loved the Ninja Turtles. I just never collected the toys of them. And then I'm just going to get on to just the WWE. So WWE showed off a, a few figures. AEW uh, has some new figures. But I didn't snap snapshots of them because I don't watch AEW. Maybe I should. But I don't watch it, so I didn't take the snapshots of them. But they had the Young Bucks. They had Cody Rhodes. They had new Jericho, I believe. Uh, uh, the new D. Ambrose. I forgot his name. Mojo. Uh, no, not Mojo. Uh, I, I don't know his name on AEW. And there's some other guys who I never heard of. But uh, oh, Kenny Omega, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, but... Those they do have those, and then uh, then uh, Mattel announced some The Fiend, so and then they're doing some like some classic wrestlers, and there's more. I just like I said, these are ones that I uh, were particularly fond of. So there was The Fiend, and I do love it because he comes with the new mask I mean, the new head that he holds when he's The Fiend, and that's so sick. I do love it. Uh, a classic John Cena. So this is the Thugonomics John Cena with the word life um, symbols on it. Then the, uh, a few Christians. There were just the Christians with like he was with the brood. And then, uh, you know, when he was a vampire, him, Edge, and uh, Gab Gabriel. Gabriel? Gabriel? But yeah, he was, uh, he was with the brood. So he had like different outfits. He had a white shirt, black shirt, different ones. So... Pretty cool as well. Uh, uh, the a Velveteen Dream as Hulk Hogan. I remember that um, NXT Takeover. He was wearing Hulk Hogan's outfit, and it was pretty cool. And that also might have been a two pack, might sort of, because it had a ricochet in it. So uh, don't mark my words for that, but it was pretty cool as well. Then we had um, the Nation of Domination, Mark Henry, and he can't. Uh, two weights to go with him so that that was pretty cool as well too uh to see his like classic mark henry like that i'm not a huge mark henry fan so i don't know if i won't pick that up but um it was pretty cool to see that uh sting the sting was probably looked like the worst one out of all of them there was just something wrong with the face i wasn't really feeling it 
Um, so probably won't be picking that up. But then they had the classic Randy Orton with him when he used to wear just the blue, just generic blue um, uh, shorts, tights, whatever you want to call it. And then, uh, you know, like you could just tell it's just classic Randy. Uh, and I do like that Randy more. Um, I mean, Randy's grown over the years, but, you know, it just brings back memories of looking at that Randy. I did like the Hey Yo Razor Ramon. That was pretty sick. So I'm definitely going to try to get go after that one. And then uh, last but not least, the GOAT. To me, one of the GOATs, in my opinion. Uh, Undertaker and the classic Undertaker, the first appearance you could call it of him with the crazy eyes, just looking famishing. And oh my god, <laughs> it was pretty cool! So then, um, so then we're gonna get on to some other figures they actually showed off. Uh, I, I, I just put it under Bluefin, so it was just, and, but it's like a random with like figure arts and um, store collectible figures. You guys know, I love Storm. And speaking of Storm, so they showed off a prototype of Mataro. And I was like, oh my god. I lost my mind. Like, my my sister probably heard me screaming in the morning because I just lost my mind when I seen it. Oh my god, they're making a Mataro. Can you believe that? It's so, so crazy. They showed off like a special edition Raiden. So this Raiden, because the classic Raiden is a blue suit, and then this one's like more of a red suit. So um, not not a whole red suit. It's just red on the inside. So it's this classic outfit, classic gear with the white, and then on the inside is red, you know, and then the hat is red. So Raiden is normally blue. So it was pretty cool as well. So it might come with another accessories for that. We they didn't really show that off. Um... But it actually looked pretty good. Um, one of the craziest, craziest things. So, so they had, so they, uh, so Storm Collective, but had some DC figures as well. So we got it looked like uh, Arkham, uh, uh, Batman sort of. I don't, I don't remember which Batman it was, but it was like uh, the way the whoever is taking the pictures, you can kind of see other figures, uh, other pit, uh, the other figures in the background. So it didn't look too good. Um, and uh, also a Superman as well. So that looked pretty cool. And then, um, and then we seen the, the most craziest figure. I cannot believe that. And I was going to get to that a little bit later. And that was Ares. I literally was just talking about how yesterday, how, um, Funko, like, like how, or how like the movies didn't do Ares justice. And then, like, seeing this injustice from Ares from Store Collector was like, oh, my God. I, I literally lost my mind. He has the cool swords to go with him. I'm like, oh, my God. I cannot believe Store Collectibles is making an Ares. Not only that, Mataro and Ares. And, and oh, my God, so sick. But then we finally, I, I don't know if these are placeholders, but they showed off, like, Lobo, Dark Side, and then Doomsday. So I don't know if the, the dates they had underneath them were placeholders, but it was for Lobo, it was March 20th. And then for Dark Side, it was April 20th. And then for Doomsday, it was May 20th. So like I said, I don't know if those are like placeholders because uh, sometimes they do come out a little bit earlier. Um, I, I already have mine on pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. So um, I don't know when those are going to come in. So don't mark my words for those exact dates but it was pretty cool to see them as well also the star collectibles has some spider-man so it was like a spider-man crouching it looked pretty cool as well and then it was like a venom um excuse me and then uh like i said this is like uh, i'm not sure if it was star collect it might have been just bluefin products in general and then black suit, uh, and then a uh, black suit Spider Man that looked pretty cool. He as well was crouching and just like the suit of him, and then an Eddie Brock Venom that looked pretty cool. I'm not sure if it was completely Eddie Brock because, like I said, that's how they took the picture, but you could kind of see a face that kind of resembled Eddie Brock. So we're just gonna call it that. And then uh, some figure work. So so then they have Vegito right there. So we got a closer look at a figure art of Vegito that looks pretty cool. Um, also, uh, some Marvel, so there was the Iron Spider-Man and the Captain America, so that looked pretty cool as well, and then, uh, 
some other products like DC Direct that had like a Flashpoint Batman that looked pretty cool. Uh, some other, uh, it, it's DC Direct, but it was like Deathstroke statue. Uh, or not Deathstroke, it was a Deadshot statue that looked pretty cool. Uh, but it was a Deathstroke one too. It was like a toy, not a toy, but a car. And it had like a kidnapped Robin on the side of the car. And it was it, to me, it was pretty funny with the Joker statue in the same picture. So that looked pretty cool as well. But man, like I said, I was just, I, I, I was shocked to even see that. Uh, I'm going to save Big Farden for last, and we're going to hop in straight into the Marvel Legends. So, on the Marvel Legends, you know, they, so, um, Hasbro was, just had a whole conference. And, uh, I believe if you go to Hasbro, uh, Hasbro Pulse on their Facebook group, you could probably rewatch the, the whole conference or whatever. But they had, they were showing off some new Marvel Legends. So they had the like I said the the Venom. So if you guys don't know, you guys haven't been watching um, certain YouTubers. So they had like Venom, Captain America, Spidey, Spider Man, uh, Venom, Spidey, and then some uh, Venom, uh, Spider Gwen. So they showed those off. I believe they showed those off yesterday, and some of them leaked early. So we got images of those, and and like in the conference, they kept mentioning how. A lot of their figures were leaking, so they wanted to, especially with with uh, Marvel Legends and Black Series, like they were trying to get the crowd to act surprised because uh, most of them, most of the crowd already knew what they had. But then it was a cool one. They had like an Iron Man 2020. That's what they called it. I believe it was going to be a Walgreens exclusive, so you might have to pre-order it on Walgreens. Um, but check your Walgreens in later in a later date. And then um, a Black Widow with Natasha. And then uh, one was a white uh, in the white suit. And then a gray, a gray suit. One of them was a Target exclusive. The other one was a, 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 a Walmart exclusive. So that was pretty cool as well, too. And then, um, like, it was just so much news from Marvel Legends. So they showed off the, the, the fan votes. You know, they have uh, three um uh, from who you could vote from so if you go to hasbro plus you could just uh vote for for who you want and then apparently so whoever wins i believe i believe this is san diego comic con i'm not sure but they're going to go into development like right there and then because normally what they do is they uh they go straight into development when they do the fan votes uh, right there and then, so whoever wins, uh, you know, or they make three, three of the figures, um, they do a mass production of them, and then whoever wins, they just release it out, but this time, they're just gonna pick the winner, and then, apparently, it's probably gonna go, uh, like, they're gonna just mass product, the product, the, whatever you say, I can't talk right now, <laughs> and then, it's gonna, uh, it's going to release probably, I don't know, that month or I don't know, but they're going to go into Pacifics. So uh, if you want to go up on Hasbro Plus, you definitely go vote right now. They had Lady Sith, a uh, white Sue Electra. So pretty cool, um, pretty cool figures if you ask me. I think I'll be fine with any one of them winning, um, but pretty cool. Uh, they also showed off once one I was actually shocked for. Was the Punisher with the motorcycle, and there were some Marvel Legends I was shocked with. So Punisher with motorcycle that looked pretty cool. If you ask me, I would have loved for like um the movie Punisher with him with the the car with the the thing that goes down uh, in the, in the movie. But that was pretty sick as well, just to get the him with the classic um comic of him with the motorcycle that was pretty cool. And then we got close, a better look at the Red Hawk target. Like I said, that was one of the leaks. Um, so then, like, we got some of the video games, like, we had Kamala, Captain America, the Iron Man, and then some of the newer, um, like, Builder figures, that's gonna happen, um, so it was, like, Rage, uh, Cap, the new Captain, and then a Samuel, so, and then the Builder figure was for Abomination, so that looks pretty sick as well, too, and there's some other ones in the, in that line, so I I would definitely pick up that whole line because I love Abomination. He's one of my favorite 
Marvel um, villain. So definitely, definitely like to pick that up and then have him facing off with the Hawk. I still got to get a probably. I don't know if I'll pick up the build a figure for the Hawk, but I still got to get a Hawk. Um, but pretty cool as well. And then Age of Apocalypse. Um, they they showed off the way for that. For uh, the build a figure was Sugar Man. Which I, I'm not sure if I like that, but it, it was okay. He actually looks okay as well. And then, uh, so and then they showed off the Deadpool, the new Deadpool wave. So they had Strong Guy, uh, Black Tom, and then Maverick. Uh, all of them looks pretty cool. The crowd kind of lost their, their cool with that one. And then some, uh, and then like an Uncanny wave, which is like their retro wave. They had, um. Uh, vintage Spidey, so it was Peter Parker. You know he had comes with the like some different accessories with him, and then a Gwen Stacy, which also comes with a, a extra accessories. So you can have it switch off. If you don't like Gwen Stacy, you can switch it off with uh, Mary Jane. So that was pretty cool as well. And then uh, Pizza Spidey, <laughs> a Pizza Spidey, which I guess. Uh, it was just like an updated version of him. I mean, it's, it has stayed true to the classic look, but it's just a piece of Spidey. And then some some shockers. Oh, my God. So then we we get the deluxe version um, of some some um, uh, some Marvel Legends. And then it was a War Machine. That War Machine looks absolutely sick. War Machine is not one of my favorite um, Marvel characters, but oh, my God. Did that War Machine looks pretty sick. Uh, so definitely have to pick that up as well. And then Age of Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Like, seriously. It was just so crazy. Just like him holding that. I believe he was holding a skull. It was like, oh my god. It just lost my cool. It just looks so cool. Then we get like a, another shot of uh, Old Man Hawkeye. Uh, so they were doing that, I guess, with no pins in the arm. Because they were like, a lot of people were complaining about... Um, about like some of the figures not being articulated as as well, so they were taking the pins out, so they're working with, so it'd be more smoother, you know, uh, with articulation. So it was like another one with old man Hogan, um, old man Hogan, <laughs> old man Logan with um, with baby Hawk. That looks actually pretty cool. I, I, like the crowd didn't go too crazy for that, but I liked it. Um, you know, like I don't have an old man Logan, so I'll definitely pick that up. Um, I'm not sure. There, there's also a Mezco one as well, too. So, um, but Marvel Legend is cheaper, so I don't know. Um, uh, and then an the X-Men Nimrod, and I was like, oh my god, I literally lost my cool with that one. And then a modern rogue, uh, with no pin, so you know, like I said, the articulation of, uh, about it, and then the like the I mean, uh, they could have just uh, <laughs> did a, 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 what you call it, a mic drop and just walked off after that one, which they basically did because they did the, the new X-Men waves. And oh, my God, I literally just it just went crazy with them. So they so they started off with first appearance storms. And then uh, it was actually pretty cool. They called the wave. Welcome to uh, welcome to die. So they had like the Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Um, and then, uh, man, so, so then they had like X-Men 2000. So it was just like the uh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And then, oh my God, the drops just happened. So they kept coming out with Mystique in that line, a Domino, a Cable, and the Cable is exclusive to Walmart. Then they were going on, they're making the Deadpool with and Warhead uh, from, from the movie Deadpool. So they're coming out with the Marvel Legends for that. And then the mic drop. They're coming out with Charles and Magneto. And, th and, and this is for like the first class. So like the newer um, Michael Fassbender, um, uh, uh, Magneto. Not only that. <laughs> They shocked everybody. So they're not only making the newer ones. They're making the older Charles and Magneto. And I literally like, oh my God. I was actually shocked that they actually did that. So we get to get the Ian McKillen Magneto. And I was like, oh my God. And then the old school um, Charles Xavier. 
And then the James McAvoy, uh, Charles. Oh my God. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just shocked. I couldn't believe that they actually did that. And then a new job, job elite. I mean, they could have just ended it with Charles and Magneto right there. And I was shocked. Not only that, we're just getting the 2000 X-Men. This is how I remember the X-Men. So I can't wait for the Toad. I can't wait for uh, Sabretooth. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be insane. Not only that, we're getting a, a Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Could you believe that? Oh my god, but man, I really did love that conference. Um, pretty cool stuff. And then um I'm gonna throw in some Star Wars. I, I did have the uh, the um uh, the Hasbro Power Rangers, but it's just gonna uh I'm not really gonna talk about that. I don't really collect Power Rangers like that. But I'm just gonna run down the list real quick. So they had some new Power Rangers, some beast uh I, beast morphers. So it was kind of like um Power Rangers mixed with Ninja Turtles. Um, so they call them like Morphers or whatever. Actually pretty cool. Then they showed off like a better look at the Lord Zed, uh, Lord Zod and uh, Rita 2-pack. Uh, the $49.99 GameStop exclusive one. And then uh, some Time Force um, Rangers. So they had a Blue Ranger. The, uh, uh, the Gold Ranger. Uh, actually, it's called Lightning, Lightning Line, the Lightning Line. So, and then they had the uh, Ranger Slayer, the Pink Ranger. That looks actually pretty cool. Um, so it's wave five of that that wave. So, and then a Dragon Dagger. Uh, excuse me, with sound. Uh, so that's about it for that line. But it's, look, like I said, it's not one of the uh, the lines I collect, so I'm not too high for that one. And then the Star Wars. The Star Wars out of that whole conference was kind of, it was kind of, eh. you know, I wasn't too high. Uh, but they had uh, basically some new Black Series. Um, they're, they're focusing on Empire Strike Back. So we got a better, like, some screenshots of the, the child, the anim animatronic. Uh, that looks pretty cool. You know, you could rest it, pick it up. Uh, it has the Mandalorian chain down on it. It's pretty cool. Um, one of the cooler. I it, to be honest, it might look better than uh, than the Hot Toys one or the Saiso one. So, um, but then then we got a closer look at the Hyper Real Luke Skywalker. Um, I'm just gonna go down the list because like I said, it was it wasn't too too great because a lot of a lot of it got leaked a little bit early so then the 40th anniversary so yoda the ad driver um the, the princess leia the han um a luke best pin uh the lando uh uh m fighter r2d2 um hoth rebel uh luke with a uh, snow speeder outfit so that looked pretty cool as well the hoth rebel actually looked pretty cool i did like that one as well um some vehicle i believe deco i, I deco i don't i don't really know a star wars like that and was, i apologize star wars fans i just not that into star wars like that i'm really trying but but yeah so then and then the snow speeder that it was a six inch that actually looks pretty cool so oh you know so i'm i was too happy with that and then uh, we get a better look at some of the new G.I. Joe. So then you guys that haven't been paying attention either. They announced the Snake Eyes. The Snake Eyes looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe how good that looks. And uh, I, used to, I used to watch G.I. Joe when I was little. I don't remember them as good. I watched the movies, but the movies were eh. Uh, but, man, I do remember some of the characters. I just, uh, you, know, you know, how you block something out of your, in your, your head. That's how I feel with G.I. Joe. So, I do remember the characters. I just, uh, it's kind of blurry right there. But then they showed off Roblox that looked pretty cool. And then a Scarlet uh, for G.I. Joe. And then the, the leader, Duke. So, that was pretty cool as well. But the whole steel, the G.I. Joe's was uh, snake eyes but they yet to reveal they kind of teased it uh the villains so be prepared for the villains probably more towards san diego comic-con they're gonna reveal the 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 villains for the for gi joes but they actually look pretty good and I believe they've been that snake eyes has been selling like hotcakes so uh we're gonna pay attention to that 
And then, um, before I end this video, uh, let me just double check. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I still got two more. So, um, we're going to just talk about McFarlane. So, McFarlane had a lot of reveals today. A lot. So, and then some crazy ones. Like, them and Mezco, I think, went, like, overboard with it. But then, uh, so, McFarlane... Uh, it didn't reveal all the DC multiverse, you know, so we're waiting for more glam shots of those. So, uh, they had, oh, we're getting the new Wonder Woman. So, um, uh, so, so she, she has her new outfit. It actually looks pretty cool. And then one, uh, another Wonder Woman with her with the new 1984, uh, I forgot the name of the movie, but... <laughs> <laughs> but her with the gold off uh gold armor that looks actually pretty sick the face kind of looks kind of off but it's hard to pull that face off especially with her like with the thing the cow basically in gold so it's kind of hard to pull off her face but it looks okay and there's some shockers oh my god so then my father is making the joker from a arkham asylum so now that we're getting the uh, probably the uh, in, uh, Storm Collectibles, McFarlane's making the Arkham Joker. Uh, now, there is something kind of off a little bit about the face, but everything else looks like nostalgic from the video game. And it's funny, too, because I literally just going back to go play the video game. So I've been, I've been playing it. And then they have the Batman one. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe that. And then the big, big shocker out of all of them was Azrael. And oh my God, you could just tell from Azrael. You could just tell this is top McFarlane's Azrael. You could just tell. Yeah, you could just uh, just see just like how the cape looks, the color of him. You could just tell it's just top McFarlane's Azrael. And I'm like, oh my God. So I cannot believe that, that he's actually doing it. But then, um, so some of the bigger reveals. So he showed off some My Hero Academias. So they had the new Achaco. Um, that looks actually pretty okay. Like these are kind of not the best figures. There are definitely a lot of probably better figures out there. And I love Todd McFarlane, but I'm not really feeling these. And then there's the Kirishima. Uh, that looks pretty good. We got a better shit at the Ida. Now the Ida looks crazy and I do love it. You know, just the color of it. I just I love the band Presto, so I would definitely like to like mess around with, with both figures. So that looks pretty cool as well. But then the, the shocker out of all of them. So he's actually starting a Kickstarter program to actually um so he's going back to make the original spawns. The 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 six original figures. I believe it's six. The six original figures. So he's gonna start off with the first spawn ever. So in the in the Kickstarter, he's starting off with the first spawn, and then he's gonna mess around with that figure. And then he made like he actually shown off the figure, and then he's gonna show off like different touches, different accessories. He's gonna add to it, and I'm like, oh my god, where do I sign up? <laughs> like for real. So then he goes out to show the other figures that was in that original wave. And then how he's going to just, like, how newer, like, of course, newer technology, newer things. So he's going to mess around with these figures. So I am trying to kick back, how would you say, kickstart this. I'm definitely backing this 100%. I just need to know where to sign up so I can support this, man. Because, oh, my God, this is going to be crazy, crazy. So, but the like I said, the actual figure, and then we got a better look at the mark, uh, the MK11 spawn that actually looks sick as well. I'm like, oh my god, Tom McFarlane, man, you're doing too much, man, too much, man. I highly appreciate your hard work for all, every, every, um, all these companies. I appreciate your hard work, but oh my god. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna end with the mess coast. Because the Mescos the, was the ones, like, McFarlane blew my mind. But then the Mescos, is, the, the store collectibles, I, I love all of it. I love all of it. But, oh, my God. <laughs> just Toy Fair this year was just amazing. So And then this is only, what, day two of Toy Fair? So, um, oh, my God. So, 
And then, actually, this is technically day one because most of the the figures weren't shown off yesterday. So, you know, this is actually pretty crazy. So then Mesco absolutely killed it. So they showed off a Morbius, and Mesco is making Morbius. Now, they didn't have any accessories with him, but oh my god, I can't believe they're making Morbius. So I'm definitely going to go crazy on that. Not only that, they're making a Ghost Rider. A Ghost Rider. Oh my god. I I, I, can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> then we get better looks at the Gambit. So the Gambit actually is sick. Just the color of him. I did love it. Um, You know, you guys see I unboxed the Marvel Select. But that Marvel Select has nothing on this Mesco piece. That absolutely is sick. We get a better look at the Thanos. The Thanos looks absolutely amazing. He looks massive and just big. I did love it as well. And then a whole Scooby-Doo. Scooby um set to go with him but that was about it for Ms. Co. Uh, there was definitely more figures so we're going to try to get more photos for more figures on them but as of right now that's about it and that's about it for this video so if other things get announced it's probably gonna be i'm gonna make another video for probably tomorrow and then um uh but if there's more things that pop up and i'm still editing i'm definitely gonna add it to this video so, but it, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And see you guys later.